Hi everyone, and welcome to my next series. So, I don't really know what I'm going to call this yet, but basically it's going to be like a comprehensive tutorial on framing and just how to erect a structure in general. This is a good small example that I have here. This is an 8 by 16 golf cart garage, basically a shed, a big shed essentially. So what's going to happen here is I got the material all here. This is up at the lake, by the way, same place, same lake I built the saloon. Um, so yeah, I'll basically go through step by step how to build a building. So let's get started. So I guess starting right from the beginning of how I sort of run my business at least, um, bring all the material on a trailer. I mean, this is why I bought this 28 foot flat deck. And the reason I bought a deck over style as opposed to like a car hauler style, which a lot of contractors use, this trailer was a little bit more money, um, but you're better off, my philosophy at least, better off just buy the best you can buy right off the start, save up for it, don't dink around with working your way up, just save up and buy the best you can buy, that's my philosophy at least. So anyways, when I went to the lumber yard, they were able to load me all up with the forklift, there was no putzing around with hand bombing anything. So that's the advantages to this trailer here. But when I place an order, um, they try to load me up in the order that I'll, I'll need the material, which they did a pretty good job of. So that's one of the things. If I'm loading my trailer myself, um, I'll load everything sort of in the sequence that I'll need to take it off at. With this job, it's not as important because I'm going to have to offload this by hand anyways because the building's going to sit right where the trailer is. I just tucked it in here because I had to leave it for the night, so I tucked it far in so nobody would really see it. And I parked my truck in front of it overnight just to lower the visibility. But anyways... Um, in order a sequence first thing I take off is the saw horses so that's what's on there first ready to come off so I will get to unstrapping all this and probably set up the material somewhere back there where it'll be easily within reach All right, now the trailer is all unloaded and basically what I'm doing now is just taking shots with the laser just to kind of get an idea of where we're at. I know this area back here is a bit low. It sort of humps up in the middle right there, but there's quite a bit of crushed rock in here so it'll be easy enough to move around. And then it slopes off there. So I sort of found out that the midpoint is about this corner so i i just have to level that pad a bit but that's essentially exactly where where we want it so that'll leave us enough room to sort of play in between that and either add some rock or scrape some away wherever we need it 
there's gonna be nine pads. So having this laser makes it really easy to shoot them all in and get them perfectly level. All right, so we're just working on setting the pads here. They're sort of had to be dug down in the front and then they're raised up in the back, just the way it, the laser has them. But I sort of made that be the highest point because we don't want it too high off the ground. But if Garrett just comes over, he's got his party hat on already. <laughs> And then we can tell with the laser, it shows us up or down. So we're right about there. So I probably have to dig it about another half inch yet. Okay, so we got this one sort of set. Just check that again. We gotta bring it up about... Not much. About a half inch. Okay, so I'll throw some more gravel under there and we'll get it in line. All right, so we got this one all shot into place, and then we just sort of kick the rock around it where we can, just so they don't move. And then there, that's basically our foundation. See if we can, oh, there's too much gravel in the way, you can't really see, but it was all shot in with the laser, so they should all be, you know, kind of within a sixteenth of each other. And then tomorrow we will start with the four by fours. Those will be the skids that the building will sit on. So it'll go, you know, something like that. And then they'll meet in the middle kind of thing. And then we'll get all those laid out and then our floor will get framed on top of that. So now that these pads are down, um, that's really the most important part of the structure, um, making sure that those are all level and squared up because that'll make building the rest of the building fairly simple if we start with a level foundation. Now, if this was a bigger structure, I'd take a little more care in actually making a better foundation rather than just concrete pads. But we're on a driveway here, three quarter inch crushed rock, which packs really nice. So I'm not too concerned about the building settling or moving at all. And one of the things was, um, this is sort of permitted, I guess as a temp, well not temporary is not the right word, but I guess a movable structure. So it's going to be on skids. Um, that way if there's any issues with the setbacks or whatever, it can easily be slid over and moved. So I did take the time to measure off five feet off the property line and everything like that. So yeah, it, everything should be good, but as far as that but anyways um next episode will be framing the floor so i'll sort of go into detail on what is involved in that so thanks for watching and stay healthy everyone